He found it difficult to talk about about the death of his sister Harriet, 21, until he made an appearance on Lorraine in February. And George Shelley, 24, wants to help other young people who are struggling with their grief, by discussing the topic in a new BBC Three documentary which he announced on Friday. Talking about his struggle, the Union J singer took to Twitter to say, It's been 12 months now since I lost my little sister Harriet to a road traffic accident during a night out, and it has been the hardest 12 months of my life without a shadow of a doubt. Discussing his pain, he continued, I've really struggled with the grieving process and how it's affected my mental health. But one thing I've learned about this is that talking about these things, talking about grief, talking about mental health, it helps get through the process. That's why I'm making a documentary with BBC Three about the grieving process and the different coping mechanisms that there are available, George added, as he tried to hold back tears. He continued, I know a lot of young people find it difficult to talk about mental health and grief in particular, so I'm hoping that by me talking about this and making this documentary that it's going to help me get through this process but also help a lot of other people in a similar position. The series is set to be released in the summer, and the beautiful life hitmaker hopes it helps, because it's hard. Pop star George's sister was killed on April 28, 2017, after she suffered fatal head injuries outside the O2 Academy in Bristol shortly before midnight, as she ran out into the road between two tour buses. She died at Southmead Hospital in Bristol eight days later and the cause of death was given as severe traumatic brain injury. Harriet, from Clevedon, North Somerset, had been due to graduate from Birmingham University with a first-class degree in midwifery. In February the singer fought back tears during an appearance on ITV's Lorraine as he discussed his pain. Telling show host Lorraine Kelly he felt it was time to talk, George said he was finally seeing color again for the first time since Harriet's death as he highlighted the importance of speaking to loved ones when going through a crisis, less than span class equals mole style bold greater than less than span greater than it's about having someone to talk to. It's like having a punch bag, he said. Clearly nervous about appearing on TV and speaking about the accident for the first time, George went on to explain how he came dangerously close to falling into a downward spiral in the months after it happened. I have had every single opportunity to just mess this up massively, he said. It happened in May. But I pretended it didn't happen. I don't know how my brain worked but I went back to work and I just wasn't well and I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't eating. For so long, for months, I was in my bedroom, the lights were off, there were takeaway bags everywhere. And then one morning I woke up and the sun was rising and it was shining on a picture of me and my dad and I thought okay let's go and do something now. George revealed that prior to Harriet's death his father had been in a bicycle accident and had paralyzed one of his arms. During this time he was also replaced on Capital's breakfast show, now hosted by Roman Kemp, I had a rubbish year in 2017 and have experienced things I thought I'd never have to experience. I just never thought it would go like this, he said. I lost not just my sister, I lost my dad and my job. George was on the show to speak about mental health charity, the mental health anti-stigma campaign, and to promote Time to Talk Day, to encourage people to be more open about mental health. He explained that he hadn't grasped how real mental health was until Harriet died, saying, I have to focus on putting the negative stuff into something. I didn't understand mental health, recounting how his sister's accident played out, he told Lorraine, it was so innocent. She was out at a concert. She needed a wee and she ran out between two tour buses. I think they were Stormzy's buses, she fell back and hit her head on one of the buses. She was then in ICU for a week. We thought, she is going to live, she is going to live. But then we were told that even if she pulls through she's gone, George has experienced a whirlwind since coming out of the I'm a Celeb jungle as a runner-up in 2015. He went on to join Dave Barry and Lilla Parsons on the Capital FM breakfast slot, but when Dave decided to quit it meant the end of the road for George and Lilla too. 
He has since released new music and guest presented segments for The X Factor. In his personal life, he also came out as having dated both girls and guys. He revealed to Lorraine that this worried him when he was in the jungle, as he wasn't out back them. <laughs>